Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk about suspension of disbelief. <clears throat> so, Thursday's NASDAQ trading was something that caught me off guard. It was something with which I am not familiar. Um, the price really had absolutely no interest in taking out any sell side whatsoever. Just straight up. All efficient and just straight up. And... I still am having a hard time, you know, as a day trader, you expect that price should move in two directions. That is, it has swings up and it has swings down. But the analysis must never be, the market has gone too far, therefore it must turn back. You must suspend your disbelief. And you look at what the chart is telling you. Uh, it never lies. I mean, it, it's, it's telling you something, even if it's not what you're expecting to see. So I talked in my last video on the NASDAQ analysis how the daily profile for Thursday was um, like a very strange daily profile and some things that I just would not expect. And um, I, on this channel, I talk a lot about potential. I talk a lot about reaching your potential and me reaching my potential as a day trader and getting there and making it happen and uh, I guess my point is is um, you really have got to suspend your disbelief if it if, if price looks like it's going to buy side it's already up 300 points but it's it looks like that's drawing again to more buy side you know it looks like it wants to go take out another high you gotta listen you gotta listen to it you have to listen to what it's telling you and all throughout the day on Thursday I kept thinking that that it would turn down because it was looking so strange and that wasn't the right solution the right solution was suspend my disbelief and go Nope, this thing clearly just wants more. And um, only looked for multipliers in the in the long direction. So if you ever want to reach your potential, you, you've got to suspend your disbelief. Any amount of thinking that you have of fundamentals or it shouldn't it shouldn't do this, it shouldn't do that, it's got to go. You just have to look at what the chart is telling you, and if it's telling you that it's we're going to new all-time highs, then I guess that's where we're going. I mean, you just can't you can't ignore what the chart is telling you. Um, and you know what it's telling you. It's that conscious in your head where you're like, yeah, this thing wants more. And you should listen to it. You have to refine that craft of listening to what your your mind's eye is telling you. You've been looking at these charts for a long time now. If you've been studying ICT you know I mean you know like even if you don't really fully understand you know um, it, it's it's like uh, just listening to that voice in your head that goes well I can't believe it it's already up it's not making any retracement it hasn't taken out any sell side liquidity the mark to markets the lethargic price delivery is very strange but you know what it's going up. It's going up. You got to suspend your disbelief, guys, if you ever want to reach your potential. You've got to listen to that voice in your head that's telling you, yeah, it wants more. And uh, there'll probably be a day where that's on the downside as well, guys. This will come, this kind of day will come on the downside as well. And people around the world will be shocked about how far it can go. Right now they're all happy because their retirements are doing well. Uh, you know, too far in the upside is, is not a problem. But when it's limit down and limit down and limit down, people will see. You gotta, all of those old thoughts that you had in your head, you know, it can't go too far, it already looks overextended, I can't believe it's gone this far, it's all gotta go. It's all gotta go guys, it's just numbers. Um, you must listen to that voice in your head that's telling you, yeah, it's very strange, but you know what? 
It's going to make another high. It's going to make another high. It's going, well, looks like it's drawing back up to that buy side again. And one day, ladies and gentlemen, it will be on the other side as well. This will happen to the downside, and it'll be uh, limit down. And then they'll open it back up, and it'll be limit down again. And it will happen. It will happen. It's inevitable. It will happen. And when that day comes, you need to be prepared. You need to be prepared for, I can't believe it's gone down this far. The world is burning. It can't possibly go further. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. You gotta listen to what it's telling you. You gotta listen to your voice in your head that, and you gotta suspend your disbelief. You must stay objective. You must stick to pure ICT. Okay, suspend that disbelief. Yes, it can keep going up. If it looks like it's drawn for more buy side, it probably is. One day that's gonna come to the other side. And when that day comes, I don't want y'all to be caught out in the rain and in the open thinking that, oh, it's gone down too much, it can't keep going. It can, and it will. All right, guys, that's it. This has been my video on suspension of disbelief.